The newest incarnation of Marvel's secret superhero team has appeared in Thanos Part 1 comic series but historically speaking, they may do more harm than good. Whenever a powerful supervillain attacks New York, the Avengers are usually the first to face them. But if that supervillain is part of a secret cabal planning for the domination or destruction of the planet, they tend to face a group slightly more clandestine, away from the public's watchful eye. The mightiest of Earth's mightiest heroes convene to stop threats before they can happen as the Illuminati. This group skulked the underbelly of Marvel's most prominent events through the 2020s, but have been quiet in recent years. With the impending arrival of Thanos, however, the group has resurfaced to stand against him. The newest incarnation of Iron Man's underground superhero society features a slightly different roster, but boasts the same array of brawn and brain power. Their arrival signaled relief for Roberta Marshall, the target of Thanos' invasion, but fans may see the Illuminati's presence as a sign that things will get worse before they get better. Despite the power and good intentions of the group, the Illuminati's involvement in large-scale conflicts usually ends up making things worse than they started. This seemingly capable group of superheroes may stop Thanos, but it's equally possible that their arrival will inadvertently make things even more dangerous. Marvel's Illuminati are the self-appointed best of Earth's heroes. The original intention of the group was to act as a proactive force against the planet's enemies, stopping threats against their home before they could be carried out. The group was conceived by Tony Stark, who recruited Mr. Fantastic, Doctor Strange, Namor the Submariner, Black Bolt and the X-Men's founder, Charles Xavier. Black Panther was also invited to the group, even hosting the first Illuminati gathering in Wakanda, but declined to join. T'Challa believed that the world's fate shouldn't be decided by a covert group of superheroes, and that future issues could cause them to splinter. His fears would be prophetic as the Illuminati would be repeatedly fractured during future conflicts. Iron Man first assembled the Illuminati after the conclusion of the kree scroll War, and their presence would be felt in nearly every subsequent event during the era. They were consulted by S.H.I.E.L.D. In regard to containing the Hulk, they kept protective custody of the Infinity Gems after securing them from Thanos, and conspired against the Phoenix Five when the Avengers faced off against the X-Men. The Illuminati were never the sole force of superheroism participating in any given conflict, but they always aimed to be the most impactful. With their roster of intellectual and philosophical heavy hitters, this cabal of iconic heroes deemed itself the best that Earth had to offer, and they hoped their actions would reflect that, despite a small appearance in Ultimate Invasion, the Illuminati's presence within the Marvel Universe and their interference with cosmic events has been minimal in recent years. It's likely for the better, as the schisms and infighting of the group made them less effective than intended. With their re-emergence comes new membership, however, with the Illuminati's ranks appearing notably different from years past. While the group's nucleus of Iron Man, Reed Richards, and Doctor Strange is kept intact, the trio is flanked by a new supporting cast. Without Charles Xavier Namor or Black Bolt, the crew is instead rounded out by Emma Frost and Blue Marvel. While the duo lack the notoriety of the heroes they replace, they certainly don't lack the capacity to fill their shoes. In Thanos Part 1 comic series, the newest incarnation of the Illuminati are faced with rectifying a mistake of their own making. The group arrives in aid of Roberta Marshall and try to keep their partnership a secret despite their recognizable individual identities. Marshall is the sole target of Thanos' violent quest, and the Illuminati are desperately hoping to keep her safe. However, it's likely their involvement is the sole reason the Mad Titan is rampaging at all. Future solicitations imply they're responsible for Marshall's situation and her yet-to-be-defined relationship with death. This tracks too well with the group's history. While created to protect Earth, the Illuminati have ironically been responsible for creating its greatest threats. Despite their cloak and dagger operations, the Illuminati have always been well-meaning. Unfortunately, their existence has undeniably done more harm than good. Tony Stark originally brought the group together to stay one step ahead of problems, but the group often took the first step in creating new ones. They confronted the Skrulls, but the hubris of their visit allowed the alien race to find a way to infiltrate Earth undetected, causing secret invasion. 
the Illuminati's exile of the Hulk led to him waging a violent retaliatory campaign against the planet in World War Hulk. The heroes even failed to protect the Infinity Gems, which were stolen by the Hood. The Illuminati's high standing and benevolent nature paint the picture of a powerful and outstanding force of good, but they undeniably cause more problems than they solve. Their track record as a group is far less impressive than their results as individuals, and their appearance in any conflict rarely trends toward success. Roberta Marshall may be safe, but the rest of the world may soon find itself in jeopardy. Iron Man and his esteemed cohorts have come to save Roberta Marshall, but there aren't many reasons to feel safe. Marshall is bound to the cosmic entity death, with its greatest admirer hot on her trail. The situation is beyond her comprehension or understanding, and it's all been forced upon her by heroes that have placed the world in danger. Because they thought they knew what was best, things are out of her control, and the ones in control are hardly worth trusting. The Illuminati and their spotty track record will be put to the test against one of Marvel's most dangerous threats. Working on emotion and inspiration, Thanos has already proven himself to be a force to reckon with, and even if the Illuminati manage to stave off his efforts, there's no telling what new threats they'll inadvertently manifest along the way. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video please like, share, and subscribe to Buddy's comic channel, and we will catch you on the next one.